Hey, what's going on everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. So, I was sitting here watching Jalen Rose sing Rob Palenka's praises and I wanted to kind of do the same, more so in a different way. You know what I want to see happen though? One day, um, hopefully it's with the Lakers, but uh, just in general, I want to see Rob Palenka's vision for a basketball team from scratch. That's what I want to see. I want to see what he would put together if he were to start something, but like, just start it. Because obviously this is something he's been given. Like, okay, bronze coming in. Now, build from there. And that's a beautiful place to build from. But also AD was coming in because Bron wanted him here. So now it's like, okay, that's not... You, your creativity is evident, but the base of what it is that you're, you're doing, your, your art, is not yours. It's like... You know what I mean? This isn't his baby, so to speak. This is LeBron's baby that he's got a specific budget and has to kind of create, you know, ways of, of making the pieces that he has fit. And he's done a great job. On paper, it looks as good as anything you could imagine. Um, for what it is that we have, which is obviously Russell Westbrook, who in theory is a bad three-point shooter and a heavy, heavy usage ball first player, coupled with LeBron James, who's one of the highest usage players of all time, who's also a ball first player. Um, you know, <laughs> it's one of those situations where you would need three point shooting. You would need, uh, obviously, you know, Anthony Davis. And here we are with Anthony Davis because of the greatness of the maneuvering and the negotiating skills of a guy like Rob Palenka. Because you can't rule that out. You know what I mean? We don't have AD if he doesn't pull strings and make it happen. Um, and two, and two, looking at what he did from there. You know, now have we had some hiccups? Yeah, I think we've had some hiccups. I didn't like uh, the Sfima Kylo trade. I didn't like uh, the worst trade in the history of the sport, which was the Zubats trade, in my opinion. And I, I, I am not aware of a worse trade than that. Um, so there's been some things that we could have did differently. You know, the Dennis Schroeder situation, I would have loved to see us kind of coach Dennis Schroeder into a better situation so that his, his value doesn't plummet. Because even though that's an L for him, it's also an L for us. Why? Because we weren't able to get Buddy Yield in his stead. And that was something that we were seeing, setting out to do, failed in doing so because of um, his failures, basically. And I think that because he was a part of our organization from a negotiation standpoint, it didn't really benefit us to help him in theory. But this is one of those golden, unique opportunities where helping a guy along really does benefit you <laughs> like even though you're negotiating against him ultimately hindsight shows you if you could have helped him through that you would have been able to get what you needed uh, so although we're very happy with Kendrick Nunn I think that's that's ultimately who we ended up getting instead of Buddy Yield I think Buddy I think Kendrick can't come in in other words I, I don't know how that works but I we're good, you know, I'm happy with Malik Monk, very happy with Malik, Malik Monk as well. So, um, as a fan, it works out. But Buddy Yield, make no mistake about it, it's a different caliber of player than what we have in the, in, that, in those guys. And, um, you know, we, we weren't able to pull that off. So, that's that's one of those things. I don't know if that's a Rob Palenka necessarily, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, other than that, there are no blemishes. That's basically what I'm here to say. I mean, you have to, you have to nitpick, try to find where this guy has failed. Last year, he pulled the rabbit out of the hat, finding a way for us to get Trez and Schroeder. Those were players that were way out of the range of what we could pay for, and we still landed them. People forget how much of a, uh, how amazing of a move that was. Um, and then getting Drummond at the deadline was a big deal, even though it didn't pan out. These are things that have worked. These are good things. Keeping THT in the deal to get Westbrook, amazing. Stuff like that, man. You gotta give Rob Palenka an opportunity someday to build his own team. I think he has earned that. That ain't going to be any time soon. <laughs> Unless he wants to leave, which we, God forbid, Lord knows Laker fans don't want that. But I'm saying after the LeBron era, is over. And you think about it, a GM's tenure is not one year, two years, three years. They hope to keep their job for 20 years if they can. So, you know, long term, I'd like to think that he's he's gotten he's gotten the confidence of all of us. Um, and as long as 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 um, he wants to be here, I'd imagine Genie wants him here too. So this is a situation where we're super happy with our GM situation. <clears throat> and 
after the LeBron James tenure is over, maybe after AD's tenure is over, way down the road, I would love to see what Rob Palenka's vision for a basketball team would be. Now, for me to speculate what that would be, I have no idea. I truly have no idea. But what I can say is, from what I've seen him do with a limited budget, and from what I've seen him do in terms of putting uh, those three players together and finding players to make it work, uh, this dude has the, he has the vision. He has it. He's got he's got the golden eye for uh, basketball and how to put together a cohesive basketball team, even in the midst of some very complex bases. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like for example, Rob Palinka is the type of guy that I want building around Ben Simmons. If I'm thinking about all the GMs around the league and who I want to, okay, you have a blank canvas. We're starting a Las Vegas um, Thunderbolt, and we're going to have a new GM, Rob Polinka, come in, and the, and the first player we bring in is Ben Simmons. Now make it work. I think Rob Polinka is the perfect guy for that job. He's he's the perfect guy for that job. And that's that's the type of thing I'm talking about. So, yeah, man, a lot a lot a lot of praise for Rob Polinka. Uh, I know there was some static uh, stuff that was said, things that happened with Magic Johnson, stuff like that. But uh, judging just by the results of his work. Uh, the dude is efficient and that's what it's about you know what I mean it's about doing the job and and at the end of the day yeah, you, you're going to be hard pressed finding somebody who's doing it better than him right now my name is BDF44 thank you all for watching I'm out.